Well, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're taking flight with the coolest mini drone ever, the one and only, the Flylens 85 from Flyloop. This little guy is smaller than your hand, but don't let that fool you. It packs a serious punch, thanks to the super secret weapon, the DJI 03 Air Unit. That's the same camera that's in the DJI Vada, so you know you're in for some epic footage. Let me show you what comes in the box. And here's the box that the fly lens will come in. We'll open it up. You've got your instructions for your air unit and for your flight controller in there. Um, parts bag and then the drone itself also comes with a sticker pack because you know you gotta have stickers first thing is the parts bag we'll open it up and there is a screwdriver inside it's just a little cheap screwdriver but it works then you've got an extra battery holder propellers and then you've got your additional screws and bolts and parts for the drone after that USB-C cable that's angled and then you've got an extra foam pad and a little Allen key for adjustments. After that, you've got the drone comes securely sealed in the plastic and it is absolutely beautiful and perfect. Let's get this thing going. When I first fired it up, I was like, holy crap, this thing packs a punch. It feels almost as powerful as my freestyle quad, even with the protective prop guards. All right, so we've got the drone paired up with the goggles and with the controller. So let's take it for our first test flight. So to say I'm nervous about flying this drone is an understatement. Always the first time whenever I fly a new drone, I'm always terrified. So let's uh, let's see how this goes. I've also never flown with an O3 air unit, so it's gonna be all kinds of firsts today. But this little guy is so tiny and I'm so excited to absolutely rip this thing. Here we go. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this thing is tiny yet mighty, my goodness. Like it's got so much power to it, like that of my five inch. It also, ooh, my camera angle is also terrible. I forgot to set that, but like this thing is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, we're gonna have some fun with this guy. Most definitely. Oh, wow. I have never flown something this small in this light before. Um, I guess since I started on digital and didn't do analog, like, I never got to experience tiny whoops like this, but this is absolutely insane. I mean, like, woo, okay. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to learn some things about this thing. But like, honestly, I might set up my uh, my little course out here and uh, just absolutely rip it because uh, this thing is insane. I have to change my camera angle a little bit, but I mean, like, we're just straight up chilling. And it's so small, like you can just tell how small this drone is while you're flying it, which I think is just so cool. Oh man, yeah, I am definitely a fan, huge fan of this. Also, don't mind the mattress, that's gonna go away tomorrow, but yeah, this thing, mm, yep, love it for sure. Also love the O3 image transmission, like this is a game changer. Whoa. All right, we're 
a low battery warning, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring her in, but dang, this thing is awesome. Yes, please. Woo! <laughs> Yeah. Check out how this tiny Titan handles. It's like a dream come true for pilots like me. I can zip and zoom through the air doing freestyle tricks like flips and rolls, just like my bigger five inch freestyle drone. But when it's time to get fancy, I can switch it up and fly as smooth as butter. Perfect for capturing those pro level cinematic shots. Remember how I said that this drone is tiny? That means it weighs less than 100 grams, which is super light. It's lighter than your cell phone. Thanks to that, I can customize it to fly exactly how I like. I tweak the settings in Betaflight, think of that as the drone's brain, to make it less sensitive so now it's even easier to control. Because right out of the box, this thing was wild. Okay, so let's be honest. This little guy is made of plastic, so I'm a bit worried about crashing it and breaking the O3 air unit, especially since I have the stripped down lightweight version of it. But honestly, the camera quality is absolutely insane and it's so small that I can fly it through the tiniest of gaps. Plus the batteries are super cheap, so I can crash it a few times and continue to keep flying. So if you're looking for an FPV drone that's small, powerful and super customizable, this is the one for you. It's just like having a pocket-sized superhero with you at all times. And you're able to skip some of the government paperwork and not jump through DJI's hoops. So go ahead and grab yourself this mini Marvel. Trust me, you will not regret it. What do you think of this awesome mini drone? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more epic FPV adventures and reviews. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.